This is the main focus of our Nepal trip. The reason we all kind of flew out there. It is one of the, the top expedition kayaking runs in the world. Class four and five rapids the whole way. Very remote, committing stretch. Um, we are finally on the way to the Karnali now. Humla Karnali. Yeah, we're going to the El Dub. Nah, not El Dub. Better. Uh, Who would have thought that these like homeless dirtbags would have like a private jet one day to go to the river? This is gonna be sweet. You know, growing up, everyone told me I was a failure. Yeah, I wasn't gonna make it far in life. Just look at us now. Look at me. Come on, private jet. What do you think about that, boy? Oh! Simicop where we flew into. It's about 50 miles from the Tibet border and from there you can paddle all the way down to the town of Chisapani, 280 miles, hundreds and hundreds of class 4 or 5 rapids which is almost unheard of for uh, around that line. To the river. Oh yeah. Oh, we need permits. Oh. I have the permits. <laughs> yeah. So we um, you need them now, Jack. Down to the side. Yeah, yeah. For this side. Downtown, town, stop the permits. Place for lunch. A whole bunch of locals really interested in what we were doing. Came out, asked us what we need to help with. We told them we need to get down the river. They resorted all types of different modes of transportation. We can get a jeep. We can get porters carry us down the river. So we got one tractor and big old trailer and put all seven boats in the trailer, all seven of us on top of the boats, and we drove for about an hour, hour and a half down a heinously bumpy dirt road, switched back all the way to 3,000 feet down to the Cardinale River. Right here at the confluence in between the Humla Carnali and another Carnali, which I can't remember the name. So they both bring in pretty much like same amount of water, so they're joining. That's good for us. And we're gonna start going down. We know that we have a rather orgy day today uh, with a couple of orgies that we know that we're gonna have to forage by, obviously. Until we don't get there, we're not gonna know. So yeah, it should be sweet. Portages on the first day. First portage was fairly chill, the best 10 or 15 minutes, a couple hundred yards on the trail to the right. One or two bigger rapids until we reached the, what we believe was the first of the major portages. 
It's a three kilometer portage around a very unknown gorge. Huge apartment size, boulders, walk the whole flow. I was kind of bummed that we were walking long ways with a 100 pound kayak on my shoulder, but now I'm not bummed. One point, like 70 feet of gradient, just disappeared underwater, popped out with crazy boils at the bottom. Some of the most insane water features we've ever seen. Four later, you go around the bend, side nice, flat spot, on to the right, pull over, for inspection, we saw a nice sandy beach, perfect camp spot, super stoked. It's a really good thing that we were able to find a camper right there because right around the corner, laying in wait for the next morning, was the log rapid. They were building a road up this section of the river and they cut down every large tree, creating a rapid that had 15 trees on this complex class 5 rapid. <laughs> the next 20 miles of the river just continued as fun class 4. Nothing that we needed to scout, read and run, rapids every corner, great moves. Really got us fired up on the Carnale again. We're feeling down and then these, these 20 miles of class 4 really just, just got us stoked. Bucks of the Bidante, the Maradisa. 